Anand Ranganathan, has it become an MLA stock exchange as Sanjay Jha insists? And of course, uh, he has a point because uh, what happened in Chandigarh has been very clearly recorded and frowned down upon and the Supreme Court has also had to come in and uh, intervene at the highest level. Uh, good evening, Madhav, and good evening to my fellow panelists. Look, the, the bottom line is that Dr. Uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi has been caught with his pants down. The problem out here is not the fact that there is open corruption amongst the parliamentarians or the, uh, the people who are elected to the state assemblies. Of course there is. And even though Sanjay might like to believe and spread the fact that only BJP is involved in it, every political party has been doing horse trading since horses were domesticated, but not intended. But the fact of the matter out here is twofold. Number one. It is an open ballot. Contrary to what many people have been saying, the Rajya Sabha elections used to be secret ballot. Then in 1998, uh, and then in 2003, I think it was the NDA government that proposed that it be made an uh, open ballot. I think the late uh, Mr. Jaitley. It went to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court astonishingly agreed and said, look, it should be open ballot. So the MLAs who are voting for a particular candidate have to show who they are voting for to their party representative. And the Supreme Court said, this is to hide, quote unquote, corruption in secret ballot. Uh, whatever that means, I would have thought secret ballot would have allowed a, uh, a, an MLA to be free and fair and forthrightly uh, put forth his or her preferences, as it may be, without party interference. But that is not the case. Now, I want to ask a simple question. In the situation where the MLAs, Congress MLAs, six of them, have to show the party representative who they voted for. Do you think they will not be concerned that their vote towards the BJP candidate would be seen and therefore they would be thrown out of the party? It's a serious question. The fact of the matter is that Congress is not bothered about keeping its flock together. The Congress was not concerned about cross-voting at all. That is the fact. Now, I'm not saying that there was no instance of maybe bribery, but the fact of the matter is the bribe giver as well as the bribe taker, both Sanjay should know are culpable. Unless Sanjay brings proof that BJP was able to bribe as many as not one or two, but six Congress MLAs who hmm. had to show publicly whom they were voting for. I'm right. afraid these are just conspiracy theories and insinuations. Okay, Sanjay. 15 seconds, Madhav. I'm just going to tell all the viewers of your program. It doesn't matter whether the BJP has won some Rath Sabha seats today or not. But I think Indian democracy does not deserve this kind of a mockery where we are now beginning to talk about if the MLAs have been purchased or with a e IT or ED threat, it's okay. It is not okay. It is disgusting. It is sickening. Sanjay, it is making a mockery of a public Sanjay, body. Sanjay, have you heard the name of a person called Mr. It. S.T. Someshwara today? Do you know which party that individual who cross-voted belongs to? I'm aware. He is, yes, I'm aware. he has, has cross-voted in favor of the Congress. I'm aware. So why I'm do they say moral high point. grounds and moral yeah. standards not apply in that case, sir? Yeah, no, no, I'm making a bigger point here. The point is oh. not just about... The same Madhav. point applies you, to uh, all. Uh, uh, if there uh, is a principle, uh, it principle uh, applies uh, to uh, everyone. Uh, if there is a constitution, it uh, applies uh, to everyone, sir. Why do uh, these suddenly uh, the these moral standards change when it goes from one state to another? that the BJP was using electoral bonds for funding without disclosing that Congress itself got 10% of the funding through electoral bonds. Madhav, here is the point. This is not just about the MLA stock exchange. It is about electoral bonds that are illegal. No, no, let's please. Sir, I, I understand your larger concerns. Let's let's go with the Raj Sabha election. I mean, there will be a whole gamut uh, tomorrow you'll want to... You, you can discuss the representation of People Act also. You can bring in EVMs also. No problem, sir. But today, kindly let us stick to the Raj Sabha election because there are three states where we've seen a lot that's happened. Your larger concerns may be valid. I'm not getting into that. But I'm just on the limited point that the same yardstick has to be there for all states. Then let us also roundly criticize the Congress government. If you're criticizing yeah. the BJP, criticize the Karnataka government also yeah. for what so it has done. You, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So here is the, my point. Electoral bonds is illegal. No. Purchasing of no. MLAs with no. electoral bonds, that's what's happening. Everything is illegal and corrupted in our political system. Let me bring in Mr. P. S. Singh Deo. No, Mr. No, P. S. Singh Deo, do you agree with Sanjay Jha? He says everything is illegal, everything is corrupt. MLAs are being purchased with electoral bonds. You're somebody who's very much in the thick of the electoral system. Is that really what's happening, sir? And electoral bonds are illegal. Please, please, Mr. Mr. Dio. Mother, ten seconds. See, uh, we are talking at a particular point uh, where events are taking place in a Rasabha election. 
if we talk more generally there is no doubt there is no doubt in my mind at all that uh, the standards of morality or political morality have uh, fallen considerably i have been associated myself with politics for the last 50 years and uh, whatever uh, gets done is compared to oh, something had happened that time so what is happening now is okay and each time the slide is more more pronounced there is no leveling of uh, uh, are uh, st uh, moral standards if there are uh, standards of morality in politics okay. they say politics is uh, you know sam dam dan bhed sab chalta hai hmm. uh, i do not agree with that you know there must be politics would be immoral okay. but it must not become immoral so that okay. is a very general thing far removed from just this rajya sabha election hmm. and we must stand up for sometime sometime in the history democratic history of this country in time to come for principles okay. we must stand up for that anand ragnathan yeah. anand yeah. ragnathan very yeah. i i have great respect for mr deo but the fact of the matter is he belongs to a party that has not just pummeled but made a mince meat out of morality of politics i am not just going back to the emergency era i am talking about the mva the aghadi in maharashtra mr dev you know very well that congress fought against the ncp fought against the shiv sena and then they after post poll they got together where was the morality in that and just two seconds madhav when your panelist Absolutely. talks about electoral bond let us not be selective yes i was for not having the anonymity in electoral bonds and i castigated the bjp for it but does that panelist while castigating the bjp also admit that congress got 10% of its funding through a same electoral bonds 1000 crores and finally has that candidate who is castigating cross uh, cross voting for bjp also admitted that it is wrong that congress also benefited through cross voting in karnataka okay quick quick quick, quick response we are we're almost out of time we have two panelists who have not yet spoken uh, quick quick response please the issue is quid pro quo that's what the bjp government will have to explain quid quo pro, quid pro quo is the issue that will have to be explained uh, shazia elmi it's your your party your government i want to quickly respond to him i could no 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 the see see it's not about it's not a it's not a grammar exam and we have to give synonyms of words so it's not a, an extraordinary exercise in semantics if you really want to know the morality of uh, uh, congress government let me tell you that the congress government has toppled 50 state governments mm. 50 times and i can give you a list so all this talk of how our politics has worsened is a lot of hogwash in fact the iram gairam concept was so bad that there were uh, concessions made this is more open and more transparent this is just uh, an exercise okay. of delusion okay okay i want to bring in fazan kidwe fazan i'm sorry we are completely we have very <laughs> short on time but what has happened today in uttar pradesh also uh, is should be a cause of concern many say and i read out a graphic right at the beginning of the show which shows how a large number of the mlas who have actually gone out from very important seats seats which have been strongholds of both the congress and the samajwadi party is this a sign for what can happen potentially in the lok sabha polls see this is a sign only uh, indicating and one thing that uh, the present government of uh, mr narendra modi bharatiya janata party is a party which can go to any extent to win an election to get seats and this is very unfortunate if you see the recent uh, observations of the honorable supreme court either it be striking down of the electoral bonds or um, uh, striking down of the chandigarh election results municipal election results and today itself uh, uh, the honorable supreme court has uh, made a very strong observation about uh, patanjali owned by ramdev which who is close to narendra modi's government he provides a lot of funding to narendra modi and the honorable supreme court has strictly said that now henceforth you cannot run any ads along with this observation the entire country is being taken for a ride and the government what government narendra modi's government 